And welcome, this is Baller Scuba with another random game. My duties are to my family. But I am loyal only to myself. This is Rogue Legacy. Uh, this is a unique game that I have thought about doing for some time, but I wasn't exactly sure how to do it. I think uh, having it in the random games will be something that is for the best for this game. It works a little bit differently than other games. We are this knight though right now, so let's focus on that. Uh, we are this guy. What Do they tell us his name? No, they don't tell us his name. They give us a little bit of his stats though. So that's something, I guess. I don't understand what these are, but they work like they said. Destroy the statues. Uh, don't worry about getting gold right now. It's not really that important. But this is a game in which I can kill King Arthur. <gasps> this is Rogue Legacy. Let's start our legacy. Now we are a new character, and it is no longer sepia tone. This is Sir Lee. Get it? We can take a look at his stats here. He's kind of your normal guy. We also have a training dummy. Which could become handy as we go along. But what we need to do is valiantly go into the castle. That is what you look like when you run valiantly. Like this. You have your sword just way up in the air. Uh, here we can go to a teleporter that leaves us nowhere. Uh, this is a game in which I will die multiple times, and I am supposed to die multiple times. But each time I die, I'll be able to level up. But we have the prince's journal here. Journal entry number one, treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hansen. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Fantastic! Let's go embarrass my name. Uh, here we are up against zombies. Nothing too difficult, but we also have this guy. Gotta jump to get him. Uh, skeletons! I am not a fan of these guys. They remind me of Hammer Bros from all the Super Mario games. That thing, I don't think I can destroy. As far as I know, I can't destroy it. I have a little bit of a habit in this game. I have played it a little bit. I haven't gotten too far along, though. Uh, I have a habit in this game of forgetting that I have magic, so you'll have to excuse me if I forget that I have magic from time to time. Like, there probably would have been a good time to use it, but I did not. I try to avoid that thing as you can see uh, I'm I get hit and I, I get a lot of damage taken away I want as much gold as I can that I do know oh dear god what am I supposed to do against that no there's only so much I can do here okay down you go that's the hard guy oh god there we go killed the ghastlies barely lived one more hit and I am dead not giving me very many options here to travel through the castle, Castle Hansen. No fighting? You kidding me? Well, we didn't even get a chance to see what it was I was trying to do there because I died. Sir Lee has been slayed by a planky. The forest is always to the right side of the castle. Thank you, Sir Lee. Why, why, why would you know that though? But this is where the game is unique as far as I know. We get to choose an heir to Sir Lee's fortune. Uh, we have three choices. We have Sir Scorpio, the barbarian. He He's scared of chickens, apparently, uh, which is electrophobia. Did not know that. Uh, Sir Eric, he's bald. Uh, he throws a chakram, as is that guy. Sir Lee, yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to use his thing. A mage. I am not that big of a fan of a mage. To be honest with you, I much prefer the physical attackers in this game, at least what I've seen so far. We're going to go with Electrophobia, because I want to see if there's... I don't think there's chickens in this game, but if there are, I want to get it. I have 200 gold. Uh, let's use 50 of it to unlock the smithy. 
Now, I don't think 150 is enough to buy anything from him. Uh, the blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the game, turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array, array of assorted armaments for your armory. Damn your alliterations. Uh, we have two options. We can get more health or more an or more mana. They each cost 60, but if I purchase one there, uh, you can see that it now costs 70 to get my mana up. So it's probably best in this game to focus, and that's where I don't necessarily have all the details that I'm going to need. I'm going to go for the knight to upgrade the knight to a paladin so that I can block incoming damage. The real reason for that is uh, not only for that, but because it gives me another thing to purchase. Promote your knights into paladins through rigorous training. Paladins have learned how to block blows from any direction. That could be very useful if I remember to use it. Fortunately, I can't purchase anything else with just my 20 gold. So, let's head down here. Talk to my blacksmith. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever! At a price, of course. Damn you. Uh, like I said, we couldn't afford any of this stuff. As you can see, it's pretty damn expensive. Actually, I could have afforded that. I probably should have gotten that. Now we've upgraded. It worked out well for everybody. It had to, because I did it. Let's continue on. Now here's where things get a little weird. Here we find Charon. One must pay the toll. Give Charon all of your money in order to enter the castle. Yep, you cannot really keep your money. What the hell is that in the background? There's just a dude flying. Oh well, in we go. In we go, indeed. Wait, was Surly a paladin? No, he was just a knight, right? He couldn't block. I don't think he can block. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, so much shit here. Uh, luckily, things uh, will stay dead once they are dead. Oh, come on. There was no way that hit me. All right, let's jump down because I can't really hit you through that. Okay. And we're doing okay here. As you can see, the castle has changed. It will change which, with, with each player that I bring in. With each person, things will be different. Ah! I hate that guy. It was moving, therefore it was attacking. I don't have that much money. We need to continue on. Freaking ghastly is good. Alright, you're dead. At least knocking them will do something. What is this up here? Ah... Okay, we'll destroy that. Oh, that's moving. That is a demon. Damn it! I swing! It just wasn't fast enough. There is a little bit of delay there. Okay, we got you. You did your move. Nope. Wait for it. Damn it! Uh, I'm trying to time it, but it is difficult. Wait for it again. There we go. No. There we go, gotcha. Oh, shit. If I remember right, like, the gold ones, for whatever reason, don't have anything The gold. No, they do. Okay. I was just being superstitious, apparently. Wait for it. Can I hit you? I what? I can walk into you, but I can't swing at you. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. All right, let's try to kill everything here. King Arthur is not going to do anything with me. I don't know. He just looks like King Arthur to me. That's not probably actually King Arthur. There we go. Got you. Got you. Got you. Damn. That was good. Should be using my chakram. Like I said, I, I just have a habit of not using that in the game. I don't know why. It tends to be a lot of games like that, though. Where I, where I just don't use the magic. That's why I go for physical attackers. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay. We'll go. No, down. There we go. We'll jump up here. Oh, dear God. Hit him. Ah, oh, God. Uh, I've been slain by a McRib. And I should have used my chakra more. Again. I only see it after the fact. That's why I don't use... Mages very often. And then we have another mage down here. Uh, you notice how even if you're a lady, 
If you're a mage, they give you a beard. So we're gonna go with Lady Faye the Paladin. Stereo blind, you can't see in 3D, and dwarfism. Dwarfism is actually a good thing in this game as far as I can tell. Uh, I don't think you do as much damage, but everything else seems to be good. Um, 140 was not enough to purchase anything. So I'm gonna go for the equip up. That does allow me access to uh, these two things, the Architect and the Enchantress. I'll get the Enchantress first, I think, even though the Architect is good for other things that I can upgrade. Uh, we're, we're going to go this way. We are good to go. Look how high you can jump as an Enchantress. Unfortunately, I have to give up 60 gold this time. It would be great to keep that, but Charon needs his toll pay. We'll grab that, just continue on. I don't think the journal changes ever. I definitely haven't gotten to a point where it's changed yet. Are you kidding me? There's that delay. There's the delay in the attack, and I do not like it. Great, you're, you're standing right there. How come you don't get hit by the traps like I do? Okay, you're gone. As far as I know, the, the coins stay there forever. I just walked right into that one stupidly. I still have my chakram. Chakram! Fuck. I I used it and it was terrible. I I blame it and not me. Oh god. I hate this guy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. Two, three, wait for it. Down you go. Okay. Slowly but surely, we will make progress through here. I haven't noticed anything that uh, gives me my bonus, well, th that makes it worthwhile being a dwarf, I should say, uh, yet. But they could happen, they could. All right, let's drop down here. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, are you kidding me? Walked right into that. Oh, God, that's like the easiest thing to dodge in the game, and I'm not dodging it. No. As you can see, I'm not that good at the game. I try. I try, but uh, it's not that great. And I i was a paladin. I didn't even block that whole time either. Sir Useless the Paladin will stick with the Paladin Dwarf build. I am not a fan of his uh, blade thing, the blade wall, but, you know, maybe it'll work out well for in the end. All right, we'll go with the, uh, the Enchantress first. Probably should have gone for the helm that was available. The Enchantress can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Find runes to increase her repertoire of body-modifying talents or crystal balls just for show. Fantastic. I can get magic damage up, and I can upgrade the mage into the archmage. But as you can see, I don't even have anywhere close to that kind of money. Um, I do like having access to her magical powers and, and runes, though. Oh, great. I didn't even know. This is what? Glaucoma, I think. Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, please bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it back to you at a profit. Because that makes sense. Uh, as you can see, we can get, it looks like one rune per thing. We can get sprint rune, so we can dash using the trigger. We can get a double jump. Or, well, at least a double jump now. It'll stack, apparently. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't have enough money. Uh, yeah, some of these characters are somewhat bad. All right, 60 gold lost again. With those together, I could have purchased something, but no. So there's this like ring around me where I can't really see exactly what's going on. I should be okay with that, but you never know. Are you kidding me? All right, and then I have a feeling that thing's going to attack me. Yep, yep. Now this thing I always think goes in a circle, but it doesn't actually. It just kind of curves towards you. Are you kidding me? Like I swing. There we go. There's that little delay on the swing, and it gets me every time. I'm not going to bother with the rest of this. Okay, you can't attack through that. That is good. There we go. Got you guys. No problem. It doesn't matter if things are just a little bit blurry. Oh, shit. 
I do not like this setup. I got bones firing at me at all times. I'm just getting out of here. Screw the money. I want to live. Oh, shit. Okay. No. There we go. Down you go. Then we got this guy. Nope. It's kind of hard to see when he's poisoned to attack. What? Are you kidding me? That goes through that? There we go. We're doing okay. I could use a little bit of health, but what are you going to do? There's another journal here. Prince's journal number two. Although I am the eldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other duke shall bow as we pass. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear, conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. So he's doing it for monetary reasons. Of course he is. That's gonna move. Yeah, you can kind of tell sometimes. Shit. Get me out of there. That could have only been bad. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, get the reset. There. Are you kidding me? It takes you three hits now to die? No, you're back to full HP. And I am stupid. I am just plain stupid. Damn right, Sir Useless was useless in my hands. I am terrible. I, didn't, I still didn't even block. Which was the whole point. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't want to go for for knaves. I don't like it. All right, Lady Shinoa, the pal the the paladin again. Guardian shield. You're permaroided. Hyper. Hypergonadism. That's not my favorite. It makes you huge, which is bad in my, in this game, in my opinion, at least. All right, let's get the architect. I will not be using the architect very often, but. He lets me have more stuff. The architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the other castle, lock it down. Just make sure you can afford his fees. I pretty much will only be using this guy for boss battles. That's it. But this attack up, this barbarian, we'll probably be doing that kind of stuff as we continue on. Of course, I can't afford any of this stuff. Uh, there's the architect. He's new. Greetings, boy. Want to know a cool fact? I'm crazy. I'm pretty sure I picked a girl this time. This lever here with a simple pull, I can prevent the castle from changing. This way you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed? You should be. How did I build this fantastic contraption? With science, of course. And magic. Mostly magic. But my skills aren't free. If I lock this castle, I will take 40% of all the gold you earn. Do you want to lock down the castle and only get 60% of your gold? No. Why would I let somebody take 40% of my money for a one-time gig if they're not going to actually help me with anything? Looking at you, people that send me contracts in my inbox. Back into Castle Hampson. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll probably go through this one or two more times before I before I just give up and I'm like ah I, need, I can't do this. Oh great, that's fantastic. Um, I think I want to go through here. Uh, yes, I forget that you curse. There we go. Got to be careful. Got to go quickly. Okay, I don't want that. Let's just jump. There we go. Barely made that. Barely made that. We'll wait again. There is a treasure chest up here that'll make it all worthwhile. Look at all that gold. Go down here. Go down there. And we'll go over to the right. This would be left. No fighting. Okay, the fairy chests. They give you an objective. And if you can make it to the, the treasure chest. I can't do anything when I'm blocking. Fantastic. There. Mm. What the hell? Why? Screw this place. I'm gonna die. And I'm not gonna get that much money. No, no, no. No. Okay, down you go. 200. That's at least a, a round number. There we go. I got a, a good amount, it seems like. Um... 
Wait for it. There we go. Wait for that. It will turn on you. Don't think that it's locked into that position. Hey, I got some HP back. I still will probably die in one hit, though. Let's continue on. Oh, God, Gaslings. I don't want to take on two at a time. Run away. It is always the best strategy. Because then that happens. I don't like the blocking that much. God, I got a lot of stuff for just killing four things, though. Alright, uh... You're so heavy, they can't drop you back. I'm liking this. I'm liking that setup. Let's try a mage. I'll, I'll need to use the magic more often than I normally do. I got 290. Let's upgrade my attack some. And... I guess my mana, so that I, I can actually spend money there. And we're ready to move on! We will get further upgrades some other time when I have money and can't really afford other things. I, I have no idea what the best way to go through this is. Part of me just wants to buy whatever's cheapest. Because I'm kind of a completionist like that. And then eventually it'll work out well, but that seems like the stupidest way to do things. But it's not as bad as just letting the money sit, I think. I would assume it's not that bad. We have another one. Is this... Yeah, journal entry number three. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Charon has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it is fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Who is this prince? And how long has this castle been sitting here? Oh, shit. I, I got scared. I got scared, but their stuff doesn't go through. Their stuff doesn't go through. That did go. Their stuff does go through, so I'm just getting out of here. Oh, there was a chest in there? How do I get the chest? I, I don't think there's a way for me to get the chest. Uh, I'm scared. What is this? Will you pray for assistance? Yes. I found Charon's Obel? Apparently praying for assistance is a good thing. Is there a thing? There was a thing. If you're a, if you're a dwarf, you can get that, but that's it. That is the only way to get that. Ah, I see. Did not think I would see that, did you? How do I how do I get this? I'm I'm jumping down, but it's not giving me anything. There we go! There we go. You're tricky game, but I caught on. I always catch on sometimes. I don't know what this thing is. This, however, is uh, the boss room, which I will be avoiding because I am simply not ready for a boss. I, I'm not good enough. I need to level up more. God, you guys are weak. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is actually really damn good. Oh, God, you guys take forever to kill. That cost all my magic, though. That cost all of it. But I get it back as I kill things. So that's something. God, he takes so much hit. So many hits. So many hits. But I'm getting my magic back. I'm getting health back, even though I don't think I've gotten hit yet. Looks like I could have jumped down there. Okay, we will head back down and then over to the left. Let's see what's over here. More magic. I do need that. More health. Don't... Oh, no. No, no, no. That is a new area. As you can see, it is red, which means that I will die. All right, let's go. We'll, we'll go this way. No ju no jumping in order to get this chest, okay? We'll go down this way. And I've lost it, because now I have to jump up. I had to guess right. Which way was it? Was it this way? 
not that way. So it was down this way, then here. But then, oh, nope, that would have been wrong too. It was the far right path from there. That was the only way to do it. All right, we'll head up here. Oh, dear God. And I got a blueprint for Night Bracers, and now I'm shutting off time, you damn... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. If you have trouble with the room, you see if you can bypass it instead. I was aware of that. Just that did not last nearly as long as I thought it would. But with her death, that is actually going to do it for this part of Let's Play well, not a lot to play. Baller does something random. I know what I'm doing sometimes. Rogue Legacy. If you guys want to see more Rogue Legacy, let me know. If you just want me to skip ahead or do highlights, let me know that as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.